Hello, Knox County School students. I am Florence Fillers, also known as Madam Fillers, and I teach at West High School. Today's lesson is based on the mini module 4A assignments for French level one. If you don't have this assignment, it can be found by visiting the KCS World Language Department website at knoxschools.org. On the Word Language Department page, click where it says Word Language Student Resources. Notice at the bottom of the learning document, you can access additional resources for the mini module. You must be logged into your KCS Google account to access it. Let's get started. In the previous lesson, we focused on talking about schools, school supplies, and school schedule. Today, we are going to focus on how we can discuss the sports we play and musical instruments we enjoy in our daily life. I would like to point out that in your instructional guide for module 4A, you will have additional practices and resources. For vocabulary, there are two sets la musique and les sports. You will be able to practice on Quizlet and play games both on Quizlet and GimKit. You will have links for that. We are also going to look at communicative structures. How do we express a sport, playing a sport as opposed to doing or practicing a sport? There will be a video explanation in your instructional guide. We're also gonna take a look at how we compare and how we also uh, create superlative when we talk about the most or released. Once again, you will have videos, additional video support in the instructional guide along with some Kahoot practice games. Finally, on your instructional guide, you will find um, a way to practice and to learn more about the culture that we are studying related to leisure activities. There's a video, authentic video in there with activities that you will be able to respond to online and we'll provide you with instant feedback. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. I would like to take a look at these sentences or statements I have on the, uh, the board. I'm going to read them out loud to you and I would like for you guys to pay attention to sports. If you hear the name of a sport, if you see the name of a sport, or if you just hear or see any expression related to sport, I want you to take a note of it. Allons-y. Elle aime regarder la télé, mais elle préfère faire du sport. Il adore jouer au foot, mais il préfère le basket. Je n'aime pas les sports, mais je préfère la musique. Did you find some sports expressions? Let's take a look. And here they are. Faire du sport, jouer au foot, le basket et les sports. Très bien. Faire du sport. What do you think this expression means based on the visual that you have in front of you? Faire du sport is a general expression that means to do or practice any sport. So it's a general term for practicing or doing a sport. Continuons. Quel sport préfères-tu? J'aime faire de la natation. Quel sport préfères-tu? J'adore faire de la danse. Et toi? Quel sport préfères-tu? J'aime bien jouer au foot. Tu préfères quel sport? Moi, j'aime jouer au baseball. Et toi? Tu préfères quel sport? Oh, je préfère jouer au tennis. All of these are examples of expressing sports. I want you to really pay attention to the different way each of those expressions start. Quel sport préfères-tu? Je préfère jouer au foot avec un ballon. Et toi, quel sport préfères-tu? Je préfère jouer au baseball avec une balle et une batte. 
Notice for these sports, they both start with the expression jouer. Then we have a little word, au, which is pronounced o, just like the letter o. But notice for these sports, you require specific equipment. That is a little clue why we have to use that very first word for each other's expressions. Allons-y. Les sports collectifs ou les sports en équipe avec une balle ou un ballon. Par exemple, le foot, on a besoin d'un ballon. Pour le basketball, on a besoin d'un ballon. Pour le volleyball, on a besoin d'un ballon. Jouer au foot, jouer au basketball, jouer au volleyball. Jouer au football, jouer au golf, jouer au basketball. Jouer au tennis. Jouer au volleyball. For each of these sports, these expressions, notice they all start with the same expression as we discussed in the previous slide. Based on the visual, you can tell that all of these sports involve a ball. So those would be referred to as a ball sport. This is another clue. J'aime jouer au football américain. J'aime jouer au badminton. Both of these expressions start with the word jouer. Jouer is a verb that means to play. After the word jouer, you notice that each of those phrases have the word o. It's pronounced o, but it's spelled au. So when you need to express or talk about ball sport or sports that you play, with or without a team, but more than likely with a team, where there's an exchange with a ball or several balls, depending on the game, you have to use the expression jouer au plus the name of a sport. Continuons. Les sports individuels ou sans balle ou sans ballon. Par exemple, la natation, l'escalade et l'athlétisme. Faire de la natation. Faire de l'athlétisme. Faire de l'équitation. Faire de l'escalade. Faire de la musculation. Faire du patin à glace. Faire du vélo. Faire du karaté. Faire du skateboard. Faire du snowboard. Faire du ski. All of these sports start with the expression faire. Faire means to do or to practice in the context of a sport. I would like for you to, place, to pay very close attention to what comes before the actual sport for each side. If you take a look at the left side of the slide, it starts with either de la or de l'apostrophe. If you take a look at the right side, it starts with du, faire du patin à glace. However, faire de la natation. Once again, here it is a clue why we have to use these with the expression faire plus de. Continuons. J'aime faire de la natation. J'aime faire du karaté. Four sports that are not necessarily team sports and definitely sports that you do not use a ball or there's not an exchange or passing of a ball. You cannot use jouer as we previously looked. You have to use the verb faire. Faire is followed by either de la if, you're spo if a sport you are mentioning is feminine, du, which is spelled du, if a sport that you're mentioning is masculine, or de l apostrophe, if a sport that you're mentioning starts with a vowel. The examples here show you an example with a feminine, faire de la natation, and a masculine, faire du karaté. Continue. Let's do some practice activity with what we've been learning. 
In these uh, following activities, I'm going to read to you guys a passage about somebody talking about likes and dislikes about sports activities. What you will need to do is listen and read along as you hear me. It's important for you to see the word as you hear me say the word. You will notice in some cases you will have three, in most cases four comprehension questions. First, get familiar with the comprehension question. Number one, which two sports does Olivia like doing? Number two, which sport does Olivia not like doing? Number three, what does Olivia ask? Once again, I'm going to read the passage, listen and follow along with me and keep thinking about those comprehension questions. Je m'appelle Olivia. Je n'aime pas faire de la gymnastique, mais j'aime jouer au badminton et j'aime faire du vélo. Quel sport aimes-tu faire? Now, I would like for you to write down your answers for questions one, two, and three on a piece of paper. We'll take a look at the answers right after I read the passage a second time. So make sure that you put your answers on paper so that you can check how well you understood the passage. Je m'appelle Olivia. Je n'aime pas faire de la gymnastique, mais j'aime jouer au badminton. Et j'aime faire du vélo. Quel sport aimes-tu faire? Vous êtes prêts? Let's check your answers. Super! Continuons. Deuxième exemple. Once again, get familiar with the questions one through four, and then I will read the passage to you. Numéro un. How does Léon feel about doing swimming? Numéro deux. Which sport does Léon hate doing? Numéro 3. Does he like doing ice hockey? Numéro 4. What question does Léon ask? Now, you have those four questions. You need to keep in mind. I'm going to read the passage. Your job is to listen and follow along with me. Je m'appelle Léon. Je n'aime pas jouer au hockey sur glace. Et je déteste jouer au basketball. Je n'aime pas faire de la datation. Aimes-tu jouer au baseball? Look at your questions. Answer your questions. I'm going to read it one more time. Je m'appelle Léon. Je n'aime pas jouer au hockey sur glace. Et je déteste jouer au basketball. Je n'aime pas faire de la natation. Aimes-tu jouer au baseball? Do you have your answers down? Let's check. Très bien. On continue. Here's another paragraph for us to practice with. Let's see how well you're starting to understand sports and of people talking about their likes and dislikes about sports. Let's first get familiar again with a question. Numéro 1. How does Noah feel about football? Numéro 2. How does Noah feel about swimming? Numéro 3. What sport does Noah not like doing? Numéro 4. What question does Noah ask? Allons-y. Follow along as I read to you. Je m'appelle Noah. Mon sport préféré est le football américain. J'adore aussi le tennis et la natation. Je n'aime pas faire de la course à pied. Aimes-tu faire de la course à pied? Take a look at your question. Answer your questions. I'm going to read the passage one more time. Je m'appelle Noah. Mon sport préféré est le football américain. 
J'adore aussi le tennis et la natation. Je n'aime pas faire de la course à pied. Aimes-tu faire de la course à pied? Are you ready to check your answers? One through four? Allons-y! I hope you did well at the comprehension questions. Continuons. There's one thing to be able to talk about sports that we play or we practice. It is not another to talk about instruments we like and instruments we actually enjoy playing or do not enjoy playing. Allons-y. Jouer d'un instrument de musique. Jouer du piano. Jouer de la guitare. Jouer de la batterie. Jouer de la trompette. Jouer du tambour, jouer de la flûte, jouer de la musique. Continuons. J'aime jouer de la guitare. J'aime jouer de la batterie. J'aime jouer du saxophone. J'aime jouer du piano. Je joue du piano. Je joue du saxophone. Je joue du violon. Je joue de la batterie. Je joue de la guitare. Je joue de la flûte. So notice here, when you are talking about playing an instrument, just like with playing a ball sport, you are using the verb jouer to start with. But then you're not using a U like you did for sports. You are using the U and the LA. So when do we use the U, which is pronounced DU, and when do we use the LA? Pretty easy. When I look at the instruments, like every word in French, or every noun in French to be more precise, nouns are categorized by either masculine or feminine. If the instrument you're talking about is masculine, you must use jouer du, du. If a noun, if the instrument that you are talking about is feminine, you must use de la, as in jouer de la. Je joue du piano, masculin. Je joue de la batterie, féminin. Ça va? Let's practice. Once again, we have four comprehension questions and we have a passage. I'm going to read the passage to you. And remember from the previous activities with sport, I need for you to follow along. But first, you need to get familiar with the comprehension questions. Numéro 1. What is Anna's favorite instrument? Numéro 2. What instrument Anna hates playing? Numéro 3. What instrument does her friend dislike? Numéro 4. What instrument do they both like to play? Vous êtes prêts? Allons-y! Voici Anna. Elle adore jouer du piano, mais sa copine Lucie préfère jouer de la guitare. Anna déteste jouer du violon et Lucie n'aime pas jouer de la batterie. Anna et Lucie aiment beaucoup jouer de la flûte. Go ahead and start answering your questions one through four. I'm going to read the passage one more time. Be ready to check your answers right after the passage. Voici Anna. Elle adore jouer du piano, mais sa copine Lucie préfère jouer de la guitare. Anna déteste jouer du violon et Lucie 
n'aiment pas jouer de la batterie. Anna et Lucie aiment beaucoup jouer de la flûte. Question 1 à 4. Ready to check your answers? Allons-y! Voilà! Super! On continue? Un autre exemple. So we've been able to learn how to express likes and dislikes about sports, sports that we play, sports that we practice, but we also learned to talk about instruments that we play. What if we wanted to share our opinion about sports and about specific school instruments, uh, music instruments? Let's take a look at some examples. Le foot est plus intéressant que le golf. La natation est plus difficile que la danse. Le foot est moins fatigant que le basketball. La natation est moins ennuyeuse que le baseball. Le foot est aussi amusant que le football américain. La natation est aussi facile que le patin à glace. How do we compare sports or anything for that matter using adjectives? So what did you notice the pattern was? If we wanted to compare and say that it is more than you have to use the word plus followed by the adjective and then the word que. If you wanted to want to say that something is less than, you have to use the word moins plus the adjective plus que. And finally, if you want to express that something is as, as in as much as something else, you need to use aussi plus the adjective plus que. Let's take a look at more examples of this comparison using musical instruments. La flûte est plus facile que le piano. La guitare est moins difficile que la batterie. Le saxophone est aussi ennuyeux que le violon. Here we compared musical instruments. One again, once again, expressing easier than, less difficult than, as boring as. So just like we did for sports, you can obviously apply this to music instruments, but to anything that you want to describe, whether it's a celebrity, whether it's different types of activities, restaurants you're comparing, doesn't matter, you're going to use the same process. If you want to express more than, plus, plus the adjective, plus que, less than, moins, plus the adjective, plus que, as, as much as, or as, plus the adjective, as, aussi, plus the adjective, plus que. So it's one thing to compare things, as in more than, less than, as much as. What if you want to say that it is the most, the ultimate, okay? So those are called superlatives in both English and in French, le superlatif. Same thing here, you're gonna have to use a very specific uh, expression. Let's take a look at those examples. La flûte est le plus facile de tous les instruments. Le tennis est le moins difficile de tous les sports. Notice here, when I talk about the flute, I'm saying that it is the easiest of all instruments. When I speak about, the ten uh, about tennis, I'm expressing that it is the least difficult of all of the sports. Le plus, the most. Le moins, the least. So once again, you have to have specific expressions to use to make or to create a superlative with adjectives. If you want to say that it is the most, it would be le plus plus the adjective. If you wanted to say that it is the least, it is the word le moins plus the adjective. Super! 
Let's take a look at this example. Let's practice in context. We have a passage again. By now, you probably know what to do. First, get familiar with questions one through four before we listen to our sample. Numéro un, who loves sports? Numéro deux, what sport does she think is more interesting than soccer? Numéro trois, what sport is easier than basketball? Numéro quatre, what two sports does she equally find boring? Allons-y. Marie adore le sport. Elle pense que le football américain est plus intéressant que le foot. Elle croit aussi que le golf est moins difficile que le basketball. Elle n'aime pas nager. Alors, elle pense que la natation est aussi ennuyeuse que le golf. Make sure you prepare your answers on a separate piece of paper, questions one through four. Let's read it one more time. Marie adore le sport. Elle pense que le football américain est plus intéressant que le foot. Elle croit aussi que le golf est moins difficile que le basketball. Elle n'aime pas nager. Alors, elle pense que la natation est aussi ennuyeuse que le golf. Do you have your answers ready? Allons-y! I hope you got them right. Super! I believe you do know what to do. Let's get familiar with the questions. Question numéro un. What does Claudine likes? What does Claudine like overall? Question numéro deux. What instrument is easier than the drums? Question numéro trois. What are two instruments she equally finds difficult? Question numéro quatre. Does she prefer the piano or the saxophone? Allons-y. Claudine aime bien la musique. Elle croit que la flûte est plus facile que la batterie. Elle pense aussi que la guitare est aussi difficile que le violon. Elle déteste le piano. Selon elle, le piano est moins intéressant que le saxophone. Make sure you write down your answers for questions one through four. Let's read it one more time. Claudine aime bien la musique. Elle croit que la flûte est plus facile que la batterie. Elle pense aussi que la guitare est aussi difficile que le violon. Elle déteste le piano. Selon elle, le piano est moins intéressant que le saxophone. Did you have your, do you have your answers ready? Let's check! Super! Continuons! Voilà! Nous avons fini! This is the end of this video. Today we focus on discussing sports that we play and musical instruments that we enjoy in our daily life. We talked about sports, we play and we do. We talked about instruments we play and we talk about how we can make comparative and superlatives when discussing sports and musical instruments. I hope to see you uh, next time for the next and final lesson for MIDI mini module 4B and the topic will be traveling. A bientôt! Au revoir!